Now this problem, this says uh, we have a loop. Uh, this loop is kept in x, y plane. So this is my x axis and uh, this is my y axis. This loop carries a current I naught, this P, S, R, Q and then P. So this loop carries a current I naught and the direction of current is shown here. So this is S to R, R to Q, Q to P, P to S. So this is the current direction you have. Now the question says there exists a magnetic field B and this is directed along this axis. So that is a diagonal axis. So you have 45 degree angle. So magnetic field makes an angle 45 degree with the x axis. This means I can calculate what is the x component of magnetic field and y component of the magnetic field. We can calculate this one. Are you getting or not? So you see the question gives you the magnetic field. So I can calculate. Let us calculate this one first. So I have been given. So we have been given magnetic field x component and y component can be calculated easily. So this is my B naught. So I can calculate this will be my Bx and this will be my B by and this angle is theta that is given to you 45 degrees. So theta is equals to 45 degree and now let us say this is my x axis, this is my y axis, x axis I have unit vector i and along the y axis I have unit vector z. Are you getting or not? So now I can write Bx, Bx is nothing but b not cos 45 degree. So b not cos 45 is b not by root 2. So this is bx. Similarly, I can write b by that is b not sin 45 and sin 45 is again 1 by root 2. So this is b not by root 2. So now I can write magnetic field b in a vector form that is bxi plus byz b not by root 2 i plus b not by root 2 z. So this is b not x plus b not y. Are you getting or not? So I can take common also. So if I take b not by root 2 common, so simply this becomes i plus z. Simple. Now the question says at t is equals to 0, frame is position as shown in the figure. And the mass of this frame is m. Each side of the frame has mass m and less length l. So this length is L, this length is L, so this is a square. What is the torque about O acting on the frame due to the magnetic field? So we have to find torque about O. So what we have to find? Torque about O. So we have to find torque about O. How will you find? So if you remember, so this is torque about O. So if you remember we have a formula in magnetic field torque is given by mu cross B. So this is mu cross b. And what is mu? If you remember this is mu is equals to number of turns into current and to i area vector. So this is a mu vector. Now you see uh, define n in this case is 1. This is a one loop case. So the n is 1. So I can write mu is equals to n is simply 1 and current is i that is given to you i naught basically. So current is I naught that is given to you and cross A. What is the area vector? Area is magnitude of area is A square. And if you move the thumb rule, so this goes something like this, this side. So this thumb goes inside. Are you getting or not? So if you hold your thumb such that, if you hold your uh, hand in such a way so that current shows you the curling direction. So the, the jet will be that the magnetic field area vector will be inward. Are you getting or not? So area vector. So if you clearly see the area vector is inside to getting so area vector is inside this means this is my x this is my y so this is x this is y and then this is my z so i can say x y z axis is somewhere here so this is my x and this is y so if you have x cross y so this will come outside x cross y will come outside so this is my z axis so area vector is basically minus k axis so a square and magnitude of area vector is a square and the direction will be minus k. So finding torque is now easy we can use the vector formula torque is equals to mu cross b and mu I know that is i naught a square and minus and vector k. So mu cross b and b is what b is nothing but b naught by root 2. 
they can write the same thing b not by root 2 and this is i plus j now we can use this formula so i will have v not i not a square this divided by root 2 are you getting or not and now this is a minus sign there now k cross i what is this so if you remember i is a k so this is i this is j this is k i cross j k j cross k i similarly we have to find k cross i so this is k cross i you are going in the same direction so k cross i that will give you j so this is k cross i is j and k cross j is what this is going opposite so k cross j is minus i so this is minus i now if you observe the minus sign you will have so if you observe the minus sign you will have so you will be having b naught i naught a square divided by root 2 and this becomes i minus z are you getting or not so this is torque so the first point you have to find torque that is b naught i naught a square by root 2 i minus z so what is the magnitude of torque somebody asks what is the magnitude of torque so this is magnitude of this and i minus z so you will have b naught i naught a square by root 2 and the magnitude of i minus z is root 2 are you getting or not so you will simply having b naught i naught a square so this is the torque what is the axis of torque that is i minus z so next part also ask so you see this is the torque v naught i naught a square and this is i am writing l square that is basically a square now ask it asks question also ask given that the moment of inertia of frame about an axis that is perpendicular and passes through center is 4 by 3 ml square what is the rotation axis i minus j so let us try to uh, locate the rotation axis so this ring will rotate about a axis that is i minus j so rotation axis i can say so torque is along the axis i minus j so rotation will happen along the axis i minus j so rotation axis is rotation axis and this is nothing but i minus z are you getting or not so this is rotation axis so if you try to locate what is i minus z so you can see here so this is your loop so this one is your loop this side also you have so this side you have this side also you have same thing So this is your axis, this is rotation axis, now i minus j. So i vector i will have this side and minus j vector i will have this side and both are equal magnitude. So this means this will pass through this diagonal. Are you getting? So this will pass through this diagonal. So this is my rotation axis. So the axis of rotation is this. So this is the axis of rotation. Are you getting or not? So this is the axis of and this will orient in this way. Are you getting? So because this is plus i and this is minus j so we will have i minus j vector is something like this so this is i minus j vector are you getting or not so this is my rotation axis so this is basically it will rotate uh, this it will rotate along the and uh, along the diagonal are you getting or not so it will rotate along diagonal what is the name so this is this diagonal is sq so this diagonal is sq sq so it will rotate along diagonal sq so it will rotate so it will rotate a long diagonal a long diagonal s q are you getting so it will rotate a long diagonal s q now if somebody asks what will be the direction of rotation either it will rotate something like this or it will rotate something like this so you see the this one if this rotates then i will have a rotation omega in the downward direction that should be because my torque is in this direction so my torque direction is this so this is the direction of torque so this is the direction of torque so i should have direction of omega also in this way so this is the direction of torque so it should be direction of omega so this is possible only if i have something a kind of this kind of situation this is not possible if it rotates in this way the omega will be directed up so i can now know this will rotate in this fashion so this own fashion are you that is basically anti clockwise so it will rotate anti clockwise that is also obvious so it will rotate anti clockwise 
Now, why I want to find what is the moment of inertia about S Q? So, I know the moment of inertia that is perpendicular to this plane. That is, let us call this axis and this axis. These are two perpendicular axes. Now, I can apply perpendicular axis theorem. So, these two axes are basically perpendicular. So, I can apply perpendicular axis. So, this is P Q R S. So, if I apply perpendicular axis theorem, I Z is equals to I P Q plus I and this is ah sorry P Q not this is S Q so this is S Q so this is S Q plus I R P and both is equal so now I can write I Z is equals to basically two times I S Q so this implies I S Q is nothing but I Z divided by two, and the I Z is given to you. I Z is basically three by four ml, four by three ml square, and this length is L. Okay, I am taking this length as A, so the diagonal, so the side length is A. So this becomes four by three m a s square. So this becomes four by three m a s square. So I Z is nothing but one by two times. Uh, this is sorry I S Q. So this is I S Q. So I S Q is equals to one by two, and uh, this times I Z that is four by three m l square, and in place of a l I am writing a. So this is two by three m a s square. So if I know torque, I can find alpha. So let us say alpha is what. So alpha I will have that is torque by moment of inertia, and this is the torque about S Q. So the torque is along S Q. So I have to take moment of inertia again along S Q, and this is the torque along S Q. So torque is I have already calculated this torque. So this value is magnitude wise B naught I naught A square. So B naught I naught A square. So this is B naught I naught A square. This is torque. Divided by R I, that is 2 by 3 m a s square. So this becomes uh, 3 by 2 b naught i naught by m. So this is the torque. So now I can calculate theta. So theta is equals to theta naught. So initial theta is zero plus a half a t a square. And alpha is we have already calculated alpha. And uh, this value comes out to be 3 by 2 b naught i naught. By m, and time is given to you. That is delta t whole square. So this is the rotation angle. So you see rotation of this. So loop you will have. So three by four. A b naught i naught delta t whole square, and this divided by you will have m. So this is the final 